Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kay here on this lovely blue skied sunny day. Well it's almost blue skied I guess. We've had a little bit of rain for the gardens but the sun is definitely out here in Somerset at the moment. Whether it lasts I don't know but we'll enjoy it while it's here. Certainly cooler today which I'm very thankful for. I hope everyone's well. I'm here again today to share some projects made with another freebie from the files in Artie Mays and Friends. And I have to take this point to say to you, to be a member of the group and to access these fi files is very, very lovely. But please respect the fact that there are terms of terms of condi conditions and terms of use, beg your pardon, that do need to be respected. Um, I particularly always try to stick to using Artie Mays products in the whole for any project I do then and then advertise for Andrea and this one is no exception. Um, I am anxious, as I say, however, to make the point that Andrea's work is copyrighted and it is very important to acknowledge that by being a member of the group you are afforded her generosity but it you know copyright is copyright and these things need to be advertised and oh, but people do need to be aware of them so that said I have got three cards here to share with you and these are, as I've said already, from a freebie collage page in the files in Artie Mays and Friends. And what I did, I was in Hobby Craft, that's the UK when I always get the two muddled up, and they were selling the post boxes. Now this is way before Christmas and I had a bee in my bonnet and I was going to make a little post box for my grandchildren and they could have all their personal Christmas cards put in that. Well it never materialised did it. I'm not the most organised person in the world. My intentions are good always. <laughs> However I was untidy at untidy and well I do that regularly anyway tidying up and I happened to stumble across one of the post boxes that I'd purchased and I thought well we're coming up to the wedding season we're coming up to as always special birthdays for people anniversaries for people these post boxes if they're discreetly sat on a table at a, a little celebration or what have you are a lovely way of collecting cards for someone or indeed monetary gifts as we tend to do when we get stumped for you know a, a present or what have you and I just thought well I'm going to make one using these papers and it will either sit around and gather dust or I will find a reason for it and send it out accordingly but these are the cards I made and these are literally from what was left from the main um, post box event which I will share with you shortly. But these cards I think are quite quite delightful. All you need is a little bit of lace, a little bit of glitter and you have three quite gorgeous cards and these were actually with the envelopes inside the post box that I purchased which is well I, I wasn't expecting that and I already thought that the post box was very good value for money so when you come across then three little cards in envelopes with their own envelopes inside it just you know just is such a great bargain and these are bits and pieces of the papers that I have left over. Anyone in the group will recognise these immediately, I'm sure. It's a fairly recent addition to the files, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There are coordinating tags, there are the little embellishments that I shared before and with something else that I 
filmed and shared. Here we go. That's the larger one and then there's a smaller one all from a five page freebie event that was spread out um, by Andrea. Just delightful. So I, th I felt honour bound to use these papers and, and just make something pretty out of them. So I hope you agree. Now this, and I don't know quite how I'm going to share it because it's quite a chunky little monkey, is the um, letterbox. And all I've done is wrapped the paper around. I didn't make templates or anything, but the paper is just long enough and no more to go up over to this part of the post box. I then joined on another piece and joined another piece here, <coughs> which I've not actually added lace to. I may or may not, excuse the coughing, <coughs> it's going onward. Um, these are the, this is the side of the box. I've not added anything more to it because the papers themselves are just gorgeous. I inked around with Distress Ink. I think it was old paper. <coughs> Excuse me. And to set the um, tone and make sure that the paper is stuck properly, I gessoed with black gesso to have a really good surface to anchor the papers onto. All of the edges are distressed as I'm sure you can see. This is a back flap then that just pulls open and so once the collection has been made if you like you just pull that little bit. I could just set it back in carefully. It is tight because clearly I've added um, the papers around the edges and so on and so forth to uh, make sure that it was a snug fit. I've badly cut there but not a lot I can do about it so I'm just going to make like it's, it was intentional. Um, and that is in it, all its glory the wonderful little post box. I used one of the extra bits that I showed you a, a minute ago that it was one of these embellishment bits that Andrea also put out as a freebie and just to make it pop I've used a double scalloped edge oval and then raised that up on a foam double-sided foam tape and then put the glitter onto the front but also added to the butterfly glossy accents because I just thought that made a lovely front for the post box. Clearly you could put someone's name there, whatever you wanted to do really but it this has just lent itself so beautifully to this paper line um, with the cards and the cards once they are made will just slot in once they're sealed and put in their envelope like so and then fall to the bottom. You couldn't really have anything larger than that unless you wanted to fold it in half and it would be just an ordinary envelope in that instance but I thought it was a lovely lovely project and I wanted to share it with you. For anyone interested this post box was just three pounds. I don't know if they still have them because as I say this was pre-Christmas of the year just just gone or the year before that. Year before that because everything was closed wasn't it? Yes. So just before the onset of Covid they may well have them still. If it's a popular item these things tend to pop up again and again ready to be filched by a crazy crafter who just goes in and says yeah I'm going to have six of those and fills up the trolley. <laughs> so that is today's project using these wonderful freebies from Andrea's group Artie Mays and Friends on Facebook. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. Thank you as always for sharing this time with me. And I hope, if nothing else, you feel a wee bit inspired 
or feel that you would like to get your hands on the papers, join Andrea's group and just be part of all the fun. Take care everyone, stay well, bye bye for now.